Minoxidil is perhaps the most commonly prescribed medication for patients suffering from alopecia and hair loss. The medication was originally synthesized as an antihypertensive medication. It is known to cause vasodilatory effects, especially at high doses. In fact, it is still used as an antihypertensive medication where the patient is having severe hypertension. After patients started taking minoxidil for their hypertension, one side effect was very prominent, which is darkening of the hairs and regrowth of the body hairs. And so, it was resynthesized and branded as a dermatological medication for the treatment of alopecia and hair loss. The mechanism of action for dermatology is not very clear. We know that the medication opens the potassium channels causing hyperpolarization and vasodilation, but we're not sure how that helps with the hair growth. The theory is that it causes vasodilation, thus more blood supply to the hair follicle, and more hair growth. But it's still not unanimously agreed on. The side effects are common. The usual complaint by the patients is that it causes more hair loss. And this is actually a misconception because it doesn't cause hair loss at all. It simply causes synchronization of the life cycle of the hair follicles. All hair follicles grow a hair strand that eventually falls. Minoxidil simply synchronizes this life cycle. So the patient's hair will grow together and that they will fall together. It did not cause this hair fall, it simply synchronized the life cycles. Another side effect that is also very important is allergic reaction in the skin. Although relatively rare, it is seen in many patients. They would simply develop irritation or allergic contact dermatitis in the area where minoxidil is applied. So to summarize, minoxidil causes direct vasodilation by opening the potassium channels and it can be used for severe hypertension. It is often used in androgenic alopecia and hair loss conditions. Use the link below to get access to the full dermatology course. This includes more than 60 lectures with study notes and revision cards. You will also get access to the flashcards and MCQs. Thank you for watching.